education in that diversity visa lottery. What education level is required for someone to apply for the diversity visa lottery? Before we go to okay. what particular level, I want to assure you that when you are applying for the diversity visa lottery, the level of education has nothing to do with you being selected or not being selected as a winner of the diversity visa lottery. When they are doing selection, they don't care whether you have bachelor's degree, your primary school education, or your doctorate. They don't care. But once you win, you will need to have a certain level of education in order to be granted a diversity visa to become immigrant in the United States. So what exactly the level of education required? You are supposed to have at least, the keyword, at least high school education level. And when we say high school, is defined as 12 years of studies from primary school to high school. Whether you are starting with the kindergarten, but most likely some of the countries they start grade 1 to 12 grade. So it means you will be going to the inside class for classroom instruction. You wear a uniform, you go, whatever, if your country doesn't wear a uniform for 12 years. If you do correspondence education, doesn't count. Why, what do I mean like correspondence? For instance, in the United States, we have something called GED. Uh, so that is just like alternative education. Instead of going to the class as a normal to finish high school, you take the exam. I know in some of African countries, we have some of those where you go to study tuition. On your own, you take the exam as a private candidate. You can finish high school. That doesn't count. You must be in the class for 12 years to have a high school education. They are not going to look for the results that whether you got A or not A. But the point is you have finished the high school and you need to have documentation to prove that. But what if you are currently a university student or you went to school, you didn't finish university level? You select some university courses. If you are doing master's degree, if you finish bachelor, it will be a uh, bachelor's uh, degree. If you are doing master's, it will say graduate courses that means you are studying right now, or you have already master's. If you have you are studying PhD, it will say some doctorate courses, or you are finished, it will be PhD or doctorate in that way. There are some people. This is the confusion for some people in East Africa. Uh, in Kenya, Form 4 is high school. In Tanzania, in Uganda, for instance, Form 4 is not high school. So don't confuse. So if you finish high school, you finish high school. If you haven't finished high school, you haven't finished high school. There are some people finish certain level, primary school, secondary school, but not high school. Then they go to do diploma. Or someone is finishing high school and then is going to need a diploma. So if you haven't finished high school and you did a diploma, you have to select some vocational courses. But if you finish high school and you, you went to do a diploma, just put high school because there is no a diploma as education level. Remember that form is written in American context. A diploma in America is not education level, but rather it's just the certification. The certificate you are given once you complete a certain level. If you finish primary, if you finish high school, if you finish bachelor degree, if you finish master's or PhD, the certificate you are being awarded in master's degree, bachelor degree, high school, that is called a diploma. So diploma is just a certificate you are given. Living certificate, too, in the other words, you can say. So don't confuse that way. So put the exactly the education level. If you are going to graduate maybe next year, don't put you have a degree already or you have high school already. Put the current level you have on the day you are applying. Once you win, there is almost six, seven months ahead. If the results are coming out and when you are filling the DSC 260, the visa form, at that particular time, you are going to put the correct level of education you have on the day of the filling of that visa form but on the day of application 
put the current education level.